I see a lot of people glamorize having pets and like an actual day in your life kind of thing. Um, everybody always looks so pretty and all their cages are clean before the video. Let's be realistic here. I just woke up. This is a day in the life of all of my pets. My room is a literal disaster. Um, first, let's feed the rat. Um, it needs to eat, so she eats the farmer's dog. Oh. Okay, my bad. <sighs> okay, dog's take. No, no, no. For some reason, she thinks my rabbit eats meat, so. Now it's time to feed the lizard. Man, do I not like doing this. This is not fun. Oh my god. Ew. Oh my god, if I step on one more rabbit poo, we're gonna have an issue. Okay, so half of my mealworms have turned into beetles, which isn't ideal. I hate these things. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, get off my- okay, what are we doing? Don't- did you just try to- you're scaring me. Don't ask me why she hangs on to the wall to eat, because that's a little confusing, but- the lizard's fed. Now we're gonna feed my fish. I don't know what my problem is. I keep getting plants and I know I don't have anywhere to put them. Funny story about this, this is a maple tree. <laughs> I was sitting in my backyard and I was like, oh, it's a seed. And then I was like, well, if I don't plant the seed, it's just gonna die and it's gonna have no purpose in life. So I brought it inside and I planted it. <laughs> So yes, I have a maple tree in my bedroom. What am I gonna do with it? I don't know, I don't know. I just felt bad for it, so we have a maple tree. Some type of emergency happened outside, but here's my fish. And this candle, best thing I've ever purchased in my life. I need to vacuum up all the poops that he kicked out of his litter box, but he looks so comfy right now. Just the bunny. Excuse my gigantic air conditioner. If I didn't have this in my room, it would be as hot as the devil's butthole in here. So, necessity. Buddy, I need to vacuum, sweetheart. Oh, he frightens me. He attacks the vacuum cleaner and I know it attacks. I've upset the rabbit. He has access to my entire bedroom at all times and he chooses there. I don't know, it's fine. And Oh, she wants to come out so she can poop on me. She doesn't like to poop in her enclosure because she's clean like that. So she wants to come out and poop on me instead, which is not happening. Now I get to spot clean my guinea pigs. Their cage is a mess, it's gross. It is disgusting right now, so. <laughs> Stanley, I need you to get out, bubs. Now it's time for Stanley's eye drops. Ella, stop licking the hippo. I know. Good job, Stanley. Now I have to clean underneath. <laughs> When I spot clean, I really only go for the poos. I like to leave the hay because they usually eat it, so. Now I'm gonna do a quick hay refill. And they usually munch on their new hay all morning. Now we need to take my elderly guinea pig and soak him in an Epsom salt bath. I had to really think about that because I can't pronounce that word. So we have to go soak him for 10 to 15 minutes. And oh, and the reason I'm doing this is because he is battling Bumblefoot. He's an old man. He has trouble getting around and that caused him to get Bumblefoot. So now we have to go soak him. And then I sit here while he soaks for his 10 minutes. <laughs> Usually by this point in time, I'm starving. I have not yet had breakfast. I have not showered yet. <sighs> this is my morning routine. So I'm just being so real with you guys. He's such a good boy. He loves his soaks. He loves a good soak. <laughs> now that he's done soaking, we get to put ointment on his feet. And now he goes back to his natural habitat. <laughs> now that all that's done, I can finally go take care of myself. <laughs> See? What did I tell you about that lip? 
That is a log. And just letting you guys know, if you don't remove those poops right away, your whole room will smell like sewage, so. <laughs> I love when he sits like this. Look at that loaf. What is in your water, bud? Now that I've just gotten out of the shower, I can take some time to film some content. I can clean my room. I can take some me time. And then the afternoon process starts. Stay at home pet moms. <laughs> now for the second half of the day, <laughs> time to dish out salad. Yes, I have to put it in a grocery bag because it's so much. I have to feed my lizard, my bunny, and my four guinea pigs salad. <laughs> All right, first we're gonna do the pigs. Now for the bunny. And now for the lizard. I take what she didn't eat, I dump it, and I replace it. Good lizard. Fine. You want a piece of lettuce? Here. So I'm going to be picking that off my floor in the next 10 seconds. And then I spray her lettuce. There you go. What did I say? I told you, you don't like lettuce. Here. Let's eat it. You wanted it so bad, eat it then. Girl, you know you're not gonna... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now Ella gets dinner. You can see her little probiotic in there. Again, this is the farmer's dog. And then she'll stare at it for like 20 minutes before she eats it, which is great. <laughs> and now Lucy gets her dinner time buggies. Ooh, the sun. Get off of it. Why? They're just so fast. Mmm, yummy bugs. Oh, God, one at a time, girl. Oh, or five. And then I spot clean for the last time today. And then we finish the day off by letting Lucy sit in her chair to get some sunshine and look out the window and spy on the neighbors. <laughs> that is a day in my life with nine different animals that live in my bedroom. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>